if one has to list some of the most influential engineers from the history of contemporary India, Sir M. Vishweshwarya would undoubtedly be on the top of the list. His engineering works and contribution towards nation building was spread across the nation throughout his career spanning over 30 years as engineer, 20 years as administrator and 20 years as advisor and statesman. Right from the very first day of his service, Sir M. Vishweshwarya had demonstrated his flair towards engineering and nation building. In 1884, he graduated from Pune College of Engineering with flying colors. In fact, he stood first in the university examination. And as was the norm for the toppers those days, he was directly recruited by government of Bombay. Within a decade, he had gained reputation as the most able engineer who could be interested with even the most complex problems. By the mid-1890s, he was popular not only among government and engineer circle, but among the masses as well. He was born in a poor family in Mysore state Karnataka on 15 September 1860. Sir M. Vishweshwarya went to Bangalore for higher education. After graduation, he went on to become one of the greatest engineers and statesmen India had ever produced. His contribution was not just in engineering infrastructure projects like dams and bridges, but he has also been instrumental in setting up for several industries and sectors including iron and steel, soaps, silk, sugar, banking and aeronautics. His achievements can run into hundreds of pages, but here we will share few of his personal qualities and habits which we can try to imbibe into our own lives and inspire future generations. Here we will discuss few of his qualities. Honesty and work ethics. Discipline. Free from ego. Dedication and excellence. First we will discuss honesty and work ethics. While being in a government service, Sir MV was entitled to an office car, but he refused it without second thoughts. While all of his colleagues accepted such office cars and used them for personal use as well. Sir MV saved money for several years and finally bought a car of his personal use. Here is another interesting story about Sir MV's work ethics. When a friend visited him one fine evening, he was working on a document and was asked to wait. Sir MV turned off the lamp, kept his pen and papers aside and pulled out another lamp and took another set of pen and papers. The friend found it strange and he asked him if there was something wrong in that other pen and paper and lamp. Sir MV calmly explained him that he was doing office work till then and hence was using office lamp and stationery. Now that he will be doing his personal work, it would require his personal lamp and stationery. Discipline Sir MV used to wake up at 4.30 every morning and would report to office by 7 a.m. with clean and tidy clothes which he used to wash himself. From 7 a.m. he used to work till 8 p.m. Whenever he was supposed to deliver a speech, he would rehearse it for hours with discipline. His punctuality was so sharp that there are even four clothes about it. One being that people of Mysore used to set their watches after seeing him on his way to office. Free from Ego During his old age, Sir M. V. visited USA with his Indian group to learn about a steel factory. A friendly American officer guided them throughout the factory and after demonstrating all the usual mid-sized equipments, 
the officer finally demonstrated a gigantic machine and told them that in order to understand how it works, one has to climb the 75-foot ladder. While his group members, who were mostly youngsters, hesitated to step forward, Sir MV immediately removed his coat and shoes and started climbing the ladder. Dedication and Excellence He did his work with passion and dedication and always gave his best. One of his powerful quote being, Remember, your work may be only to sweep a railway crossing, but it is your duty to keep it so clean that no other crossing in the world is as clean as yours. Sir Vishveshwarya lead a very simple life. He was a strict vegetarian and a teetotaler. He was known for his honesty and integrity. In 1912, Maharaja of Mysore appointed Vishveshwarya as his Divan. Before accepting the position of Divan of Mysore, he invited all his relatives for dinner. He told them very clearly that he would accept the prestigious office on the condition that none of them would approach him for favors. As Divan of Mysore, he worked directly for educational and industrial development of the state. When he was the Divan, many new industries came up. The sandal oil factory, the soap factory, the metals factory, the chrome tanning factory were some of them. Of the many factories, he started the most important is the Bhadravati Iron and Steel Works. Sir Vishveshwarya retired as Divan of Mysore in 1980. He worked actively even after his retirement. Sir Vishveshwarya was honored with Bharat Ratna in 1955 for his invaluable contribution to the nation. When he reached the age of 100, the government of India bought out a stamp in his honor. Sir Vishveshwarya passed away on April 14, 1962, at the age of 101. Today, being the birth anniversary of Sir MV, India celebrates Engineers Day in his memory to inspire engineers across the nation. Happy Engineers Day!